What's up, cousin? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Virgo for the month of May 2019? Hmm? Hmm? Are you guys in this energy of receiving, allowing, and taking care of your mother, mother self? Hmm? Hmm? Speaking of taking care of self, y'all, bitch, look in my eye. I had pink eye in both eyes, you guys. That's why I've been in. I was a bit insecure about it, so don't judge me, okay? I, I decided that the show must go the fuck on. So here we are, all right? Uh, to, uh, for the people who first time on my channel. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm Oka. Also, if this first time you're on my channel, if you haven't figured it out by now, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, okay? To the returning subscribers, familia! What's popping? What's going on? How y'all been holding up? How's everything been? How the end of April was for you guys going into the month of May? Because I know a lot of you guys were faced with some huge decisions and some kind of forced decision making. Okay? Um, you guys, thanks all, all so much, you guys, up top for all of the likes, the shares, and subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it, and I read each and every one of my comments, okay? Um, to you guys who are looking for a personal reading, that information can be found within the description, all right? And this is not going to resonate with everybody. You guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't try to make that damn shoe fit if that motherfucker too small. It hoit, it hoit, it hoit, okay? So don't try to make it fit, period. Um, you guys... First time to my channel, you guys, to the new subscribers, new family. Y'all, we don't fight a fuss. We leave that dysfunctional shit on other people's channel. We ain't this type of dysfunctional. We love, we share, we grow, we cuss. We enlighten, we evolve. Posse vibes only over here, okay? We one big happy family, all right? So without further ado, this is for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Virgo for the month of May, first half. Let's get it, all right? We're going to start off with your intuitive messages first. What I picked up for you guys was switch up. Reevaluation, focus, appreciation, gossip, rapid manifestation, harvest, rumors, splits, rectify, catalyst, forgiveness, heart chakra, envy, passion, solar plexus, life purpose, garden, boat trip, returning. Alignment, pattern, observation, legalities, curiosity, payout, finalization, travel, new home, strategy, transportation, movement forward, compromise. Okay? So if the intuitive messages did resonate with you, then this is your message. Let's talk about it. All right? The overall energy around you guys, you guys got the king of diamonds. Okay? So you guys are... I want the truth, nothing but the truth, honest communication, straightforward, straight like that, no, all shots, no chases, okay? Some of you guys could also be um, in, in the period of releasing things, cutting things um, cutting things short, okay? Also, coming, I'm hearing coming back to things, coming back. So, putting things in your pocket to come back to. If it don't make you no dollars, it don't make you no sense. And if the shit is not beneficial, then it is what? Artificial fake ass will not help me grow. Let's go. You understand? So your first message comes from, and I am going to be giving you guys messages from uh, the Doreen Virtue Archangel Oracle deck. All right. So your first message comes from Archangel Ariel. Courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So I definitely feel like there's a sense of boundaries for my babies. A lot of you all are going to be receiving um, some type of crown chakra, um, down, like some type of crown chakra, esoteric information in the form of your crown chakra. So it come, could come through in the form of dreams. Um, it could also come through in the form of some type of telepathic communication that you may have with someone that you're separated from. So emotionally, some of you guys could also be coming into um, coming into knowing that you are some form of an empath. <clears throat> and empaths definitely have many different sectors and many different tiers, I'd say, of levels of empathiness, okay? For some of you all, you may, um, some of you guys are may, may be walking into the gift of clear audience, so you may be actually able to hear people's thoughts, feelings, emotions, or you may also be able to see the auras around people. I just got this for Taurus, so some of y'all could also have Taurus in the chart. For some of you all, this is about your life purpose, your truth, how you make money, your core values, what is it What is it that you believe in. For some of you all, this could also have something to do with some type of partnership or some type of karmic tie to a Leo specifically, okay? The next message that you guys got was Life Review from Archangel Germio. 
Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So there is a sense of balance. I also heard the word family. So for some of you all, this has to do with ancestral ties. Some of you guys could also be coming to terms with the fact that you guys are sent here and your life purpose was to bring some type of balance to or some bring some type of balance to some type of ancestral tie. For so so for some of you all, let's say for example, um you come from a family where um maybe the the on the mother's side, your mother um has a tendency or you feel some type of abandonment from your mother. Your mother's mother maybe didn't raise her and maybe you weren't raised by your mother you was raised by a grandmother i feel like there is generational i'm not going to call it a curse i feel like cycles that is being broken okay for some of you all this has to do with your own children okay there's a sense of reviewing things and accountability acknowledgement accountability i'm hearing okay so, so for some of you all in order to bring some type of re resolve to some sort of family dynamic, you need to have the courage to be willing to take accountability for your actions or someone within your energy, okay? But I definitely feel like there is going to be some type of acknowledgement and accountability. Some of y'all could be having conversations with your children during this time. And for some of you all, you could be dreaming about one particular child. So you sit down and have a conversation with this child to understand that this person, your baby got a whole lot of things to release, okay? I'm hearing water sign, fire sign. So you have... um. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius children, as well as Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio children. For some of you all, this has to do with the spouse of your children. There needs to be some type of resolve, but in order for there to be some type of resolve, there needs to be balance in communication and what you allow and how you allow people to handle you, okay? And with how you allow people to behave as far as being within your energy. There's a need for you guys to um, also... For those Virgos who are single, take take stock of your past relationships, your past dealings, your past collaborations with people. And there's a need for you guys to focus inward on a particular cycle that needs to be shifted and transmuted into a positive way of thinking. So I'm hearing self-sabotage. This could be uh, maybe your perception, the way that you perceive things. You perceive things and take them for the negative before you see the positive aspects of things that you cheat. You cheat yourself out of experiences, um, looking at life from a negative perspective. Okay. The last card you guys got was Counselor, okay? This comes from Archangel Azriel. You are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and your reassurance. So a lot during this time, a lot of people may be coming to you um, for advice, for guidance, for um, assurance, for validation, uh, for uh, practical matters as far as how to grow their business. But there's a need for you guys to be somewhat selfish with your energy. And I don't mean selfish with your energy from an aspect of um, like cutting people, everybody off, or like just pulling completely away. Because there's a need for some of you all to be in solitude, but not solitude. To the, to, to the point where folks got to start putting up damn milk cartons and signs looking for your ass, okay? Don't have none of your family members, you know, email it. Because some of y'all got some crazy family. Some of y'all got some family that will reach out to the people, okay? But for some of you all, you're being, some of you all are channel sources. You, you, you have a path of uh, either public speaking or some type of healing work. You also have a path. Some of you guys are healers with your hands. I'm also hearing holistic. So some of you guys could also be um, like medicine woman, medicine men as well. And some of you all, it's having to do with the explanation. Some of y'all want to um, move towards some type of public communications. For some of you all, you're being, you're going public. You're taking, you're having the courage to actually, um, Open your open up to your friends and your loved ones about your spiritual path and the things and how you want to proceed and what type of uh, moves you want to make as far as momentum going forward. For some of you all, there's a need to um, let, not let your left hand know what the right one doing. And there's this, this energy of projection, people projecting their fears upon you because for some of you all, this could have to be with some type of lineage or some type of ancestral path. Then your mother or your grandmother could have had the choice to walk this path however they chose a very religious one and you're needing to really realign and really reflect on where it is that your values lie where it is what is your truth what uh what authenticity pretty much walking into walking in the midst of your authenticity, walking in authenticity, moving forward, no matter who it offends, because for some of you all, this is your life calling. For some of you all, you are a channel source, like angels and ancestors actually use you to deliver messages or for you to um, assist people in their movement forward or with their grief. So some of y'all could actually pick up, you could be empaths and pick up um, on energy, maybe in the grocery store, okay? And maybe your guides are are telling you to tell this person not to worry about their health. And for some of you all, you focused on, you worried about the perception of others and the judgment of others, and that's preventing you. Or for some, 
For some of you all, keeping you sitting still, this sense of stagnancy, but there will be movement. For some of you all, this also has to do with an inactive solar plexus or your, um, your, there's a need for you guys to actively focus on your solar plexus. Or there may be some type of shift happening within the solar plexus to give you more so of that momentum um, to move forward on a lot of your creative ideas. But some of you all this has to do with a confidence issue. You're thinking, I'm hearing, what if they don't like me? What if they don't like what I do? What if they judge me? It's not about, people talk about fucking Beyonce. That's my bitch. She on on. She a Virgo too. They be talking shit. But that doesn't take away from the fact that she's Queen B. And motherfucker better put the Queen before the B. You understand me? Period. You Queen Virgo. Act accordingly. Queen King Virgo. Okay? Let's get it. Let's see what's going on with the love life. You know, y'all love life be interesting. They go to reconciliation. They wanted to fall out when I was meditating on your energy, too. And I was saging my car. So I will say some of you guys could definitely be um, dealing with some type of reconciliation around a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or around a twin flame partnership. Here, what messages do you have for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the month of May? What messages do you have for Virgos in love? For my Virgos in love? Releasing yourself from situations that really don't bring you no growth but a damn headache during this time, okay? For some of you all, you could be walking away from a fire sign every single Sagittarius. I feel like we're going to get the damn monkey off their back, okay? For some of you all, you're feeling, yeah. This could definitely be someone who you have a family tied to or some type of family structure. There could also be the ending, I'm hearing, to some type of argument or dispute. And it's like some, you guys are going to come to some sort of compromise or healthy co-parenting, okay? For some of you all, this could also have to do with the Piscean or a situation that wasn't going anywhere or wasn't able to progress forward. I definitely feel like somebody coming to their damn senses during this time that is ultimately not about the grown-ups but about the damn babies who don't ask to come here. Yeah, we all sign so soul contracts to come here. But also Ultimately, we act. There's a need to find, just like y'all can get along to lay your ass down to bust it open, bust, bust down Tatiana to have that damn baby. You guys need to stand up in a healthy partnership because I'm hearing for some of you all, some of y'all are dealing with, 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 with the external source that is very confrontational, okay? For some of you guys, you could have freed yourself, okay? And there could have been some type of fear around um, being independent or being secure. Okay, for some of you all, you could be releasing yourself from a situation after finding out about some type of third party situation, possibly involving the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, but Virgo, I feel like you just more so focused on your money, your future, your prosperity, the abundance that you bring into how, how you see, how for one, how you see abundance, for two, focusing on the abundance that you call your own and not the ties that you have to another. For some of you all, there could have been some type of third party situation. Some of y'all could be finding out about an outside child, especially if you're tied to someone else, some type of marriage or partnerships. And for some of y'all, this could be the catalyst situation to move you forward because you already know you've been standing in the situation the spirit says it's time to move anyway. Being divinely guided, I'm hearing. What messages do you have for Virgo? Some of you guys. Some of you guys could be freeing yourself possibly from a Pisces, the mother or father of your child, but this could also be a Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Aries, another Virgo. Yeah. And for some of you all, yeah. Some of you all could be experiencing some type of like lack or poverty mindset. This could also be having to do with being attached to some type of third party situation like someone is actually dealing with it. I'm also hearing strategizing because someone could also be piecing together their security elsewhere. And for some of you all, this could also involve possibly a new person. Another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you all, there's a fear of leaving something stable and actually being independent. So you stay in a third party situation that is extremely burdensome and there's a need for you guys to release in order for you to move towards that abundance. But it's going to, re it's going to require for you guys to relinquish control around the situation. For some of you all, you could have been waiting on someone who could have been, um, had some type of partnership. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a, um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio or someone who has <clears throat> water in their chart 
This person could have been attached to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could, re you could be finding out this person is single during this time. So if a third-party relationship prevented things from moving forward because someone had to release something because it was burdening another person, you could be finding out that that person um, could be releasing their partner or could have released their partner. Yeah. And for some of you all, this is opening up an opportunity for you guys to move towards a new path. For some of you all, after walking away from an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo or a fire sign. And I feel like it took you guys a long time to do this, okay? Or it has been taking you guys a long time. Some of you guys are sitting in this space of indecision. If you don't know which way to turn, which way to go. Some of y'all could have a very indecisive air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in your damn energy. And there's a need for you guys to release the burden to move towards this happiness, this abundance, this fulfillment, this security as far as the stability around a secure, mature, healthy relationship. Okay? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Yeah. For some of y'all, this could definitely have to do with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? I definitely feel like there's a lot of passion in the situation, but when you get up on your damn feet, you realize you don't even like this person. <clears throat> some of you guys are in your head about or feeling stuck or trapped or bound to um, some type of family dynamic with the Piscean or possibly an Earth sign where you feel stuck due to some type of family dynamic. Why is this hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Yeah. For some of you all, some of you are in love with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like this person wants to give you a stable offer. However, you have to leave something behind and release yourself and become independent or um, become single. Some of you all. This could also have to do with the job, you guys. Some of you guys are in your head about um, being seen as disloyal regarding leaving a job to start your own business. But if you're going to put that same damn, you're going to put that love and that passion into somebody else's damn business, why not put that same energy into your own shit? The fuck? Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here for that though? Why is the Empress here? Yeah. For some of you guys, you want, some of you guys are moving away, possibly from a Libra. And for some of you guys, some of you guys are moving away from a job to start your own business. And some of you guys could also be moving um, moving towards the mother or the father of your child, especially if there was some type of third-party situation. I definitely feel like someone is getting out of their head and they're moving towards resolution, but they're moving towards the resolution of actually mending things, resolving, renewing. Why is the King of Pentacles here for right now? <clears throat> Why is the King of Pentacles here for Virgo? Yeah. Some of you guys want to move slowly into accepting something, a stable offer possibly from an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of you all, this could also be starting over with a Gemini Libra Aquarius after some type of split. Okay? Due to somebody having an outside child, because I do see an outside child, y'all. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Virgo? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Yeah. In order for something new to begin, okay? Okay, or this could also be, in, yeah, in order for something new to begin, something has to be released. And for some of you all, this is some type of truth and clarity coming out in order that's going to cause some type of separation. Maybe this is you saying, I no longer want to be in this commitment. I no longer want to be uh, in this union. I have happiness elsewhere. I don't, I'm no longer fulfilled. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah. For some of y'all, this has to do with a reconciliation, possibly with a fire sign or a water sign. Every Leo Sagittarius or um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Why is it? Some of you guys are not sleeping well. And for some of you all, some of y'all, if you're going to worry, don't pray. And if you're going to pray, don't worry. You really need it to pick a side because spirit don't know what the hell to manifest in your life. For some of y'all, there's this energy of shifting this back and forth, back and forth, even though you have this all-knowing of what it is that you need to do. But in doing what it is that you need to do, there's this fear of some of y'all have history with someone and you have a solid connection with another. Yeah. For some of you all, some of you guys are freeing yourself 
possibly from a relationship with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're becoming independent because someone is just doing some half-assed love during this time. Yeah. And some of you guys are in your head about a damn new beginning. You know what you want. You're passionate about what it is that you want to move towards. But you lose the sleep in your damn head how everybody going to see me. For some of y'all, this have to do with actually because you are in a solid commitment where you've been in. For some of y'all, I'm hearing 12, 10, 9, 8, as well as 7, as well as 2. For some of y'all, as well as 3. So some of y'all have been in a commitment for 3 years, a long amount of time. But then you meet this person, this divine partnership. For some of y'all, this have to do with a past life, so a past life relationship. The intensity is extremely... Hi, I got a little roll down my kundalini. I ain't going to tell you what I really feel like. Yeah, for some of you all, some of you all, this is about some type of air sign connection, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, you really want this person and you really want to build something and tap into the solid with this person, but this person could be married or attached to someone else. For some of y'all, this could be a twin flame energy. Like you reconcile with your twin flame just to find out that your twin flame can move down into a new relationship. Yeah. For some of you all, you're reconciling with somebody after they release themselves from someone else, okay? This could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, nine of swords. So some of you guys are in your head about starting fresh or moving towards bringing some type of resolve towards some type of family situation or, or dynamic. This could be um so this could be any sign, y'all, because I do see fire, air, water, as well as earth here. But I do see someone is really overthinking when it comes to which way to go as far as um some type of family dynamic as well as releasing themselves to really just follow their heart. And spirit is saying you intuitively know that a cycle has to end in order for a new one to begin. And some of y'all want a damn Leo. Why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here for my Virgos? Yeah. For some of you all, you don't know which way to go because you really want a situation where there's equal give and take. You really, some of y'all are wanting to, some of y'all dealing with an uh, earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but I feel like you're kind of in your space because you love this person, but you're accepting the fact that they can't equally give and take. For some of y'all, they have to do with their job. Like, you need that time and this person can't offer you that. And you're not being fulfilled. And, you, and I'm hearing don't want to be the bad guy. Somebody don't want to be the bad guy. Why is the high priestess here? Some of y'all are dealing with someone who has the initials B and J in their name. First or last. And some of you guys could also be dreaming. Some of y'all. Who y'all man? Okay, some of y'all, and I want whoever this is for to come in. Some of y'all are having sexual activity when you astro travel. You go into another dimension and you're getting your freak on in a whole little nasty, nasty way. And yet, some of y'all are actually able to come back and remember. Remember. So, how priest is here. Some of you guys already intuitively know or aware of something, but you are going to be finding out that truth. That it's like some type of clarity, some type of yeah, some type of clarity or validation to bring some type of ending or releasing or an end to some type of uh, conflict. I'm hearing. And for some of you all, you're entering a new cycle. You have to leave. Some of y'all are having, having to leave that lack mindset. Some of you guys are having to leave people in your energy and which are, are overly codependent on your ass. Some of you guys are having to leave abandonment behind. Some of you guys are having to leave the fear of loneliness behind in the past. In order to, because some of you guys are not seeing independence as independence, but you're seeing it as a sense of loneliness. And because you were holding on to something tight or someone else was holding on to you too tight and something that the divine said is over because we have this for you, it was released for you. For some of you all with a catalytic situation, but I do see you guys standing real. Money looks damn good. You're standing damn money as well as love. 
<clears throat> so for some of you all, money and love are tied together as one. There will be some type of collaboration. So some of you guys could be meeting someone and you meet them on a business dynamic during this time, but then you later on find out that you guys have some type of connection, like you love one another before, and you're needing to have the strength to move away from maybe trust issues or this fear of vulnerability or this fear of offering your love so fast or um, being seen as impulsive because you know what you want. There's a need for you to speak clearly, um, speak authentically authentically and do not be afraid of somebody judging you what the hell are they gonna say about what the fuck you doing because people gonna talk regardless whether you a broke bitch or not whether you king dingling or you can barely swing that thing folks will have something to say some of you guys could be walking away um having the strength to finally walk away from uh, some type of partnership some of y'all are going to be making a decision during this time where um someone <clears throat> or where someone was resisting um moving towards you to bring the balance to a situation this could be a fire sign someone is going to uh bring the balance to a situation in order for you to release okay a situation and move forward to start anew or someone is going to want to come back and transform a situation could also be dealing with the areas okay so you guys let me know how this resonated if this is what i have for my wood goals for the month of may and i love you all so much peace love many blessings namaste babies if you need that personal, hit me up. It's in the description. Love y'all. Bye-bye.